Alright guys, how's it going? Jordy here and welcome to another episode of Making Minecraft Mods. This tutorial should hopefully be a little shorter. Basically I got a request by a subscriber of mine on Twitter to show him how to get a custom NPC to wield a weapon or hold a sword or something along them lines. First thing that came to my mind was, alright, are there any existing existing sorry examples of this inside of Minecraft and then I thought yeah the pig zombies so I went straight to entity pig zombie dot java I scrolled up to the bottom of the file and then I found this nice little section here which is exactly what we need uh, basically inside of this class they create a public item stack of get held item uh, then they declare it down here in a static and I'll explain why they do that in a second and they basically say default held item equals new item stack item dot gold sword and this is uh, basically why when you encounter a pig zombie they hold a gold sword and they try and attack you with it so yeah we could just copy and paste this straight into our file but I'm not going to do that I'm going to try and run through the code so hopefully I explain it a little better so yeah the first bit we need is this public item stack get held item so we go public item stack sorry let me just it's got to be uh, the correct case so yeah an item stack if I right click and go open declaration this opens up item stack dot java uh, item stock dot item stack dot java sorry is a class created by obviously the guys at Mojang um, which allows us to create item stack objects um, inside of entity dot we have strings we have integers these are all data types but an item stack is actually we're creating like a custom object here so we say public item stack uh, get held item, open close brackets now this is going to ask me to return an item stack, yep as it does so what we could do is we could create a brand new item stack object so we could say item stack uh, stack equals new item stack uh, open brackets and here is where you put the item so you say item dot and then whatever item you want so we could just say empty bucket there and finish with a semicolon um, or I don't know, cookie, finish with a semicolon. And then we, as long as we return the items, we have to return an item stack object. And we've just created one on the line above, so we can just say return stack. Now, this will work, but you may be wondering, well, why did they do this? Why did they declare a static? The reason they do that is, um, I've mentioned some of the Java keywords before, like public and private, where a public uh, variable or method can be called or is available if you create an instance of this class or an, a new object of this class can be called anywhere in kind of the outside code whereas a private can only be called inside of this class here inside of entity Dothraki. What a static is, um, imagine you have a class and then you use that class to generate objects well everything kind of inside of that belongs to the object you've just generated whereas a static doesn't, a static belongs to the class itself and what that means is we can create one instance of an item stack and then just you know give that to all of the brand new objects that are being created rather than creating a brand new item stack each time uh, that will be much more beneficial in terms of memory usage, in terms of resources and I believe that is why they have done this here so we're going to do exactly the same here uh, for my OCD I'm just going to say private static it doesn't really matter if it's private as far as I'm aware but we're going to say private static item stack because that is what we want to return uh, equals new item stack again um, and this time what are we going to pass in ah it doesn't like that there public static item stack uh, oh yeah because yeah sorry I'm, I'm I've completely got this wrong. We need to go private static, item stack again, but then we need to give the, the name. So we're going to call this held item. And then we can just say equals new item stack item dot and then we'll pass in cookie again. There we go. Seems like that's fine. And then what we can do here is get rid of this and then just return our held item. So yeah, basically, let me go over that one more time. The reason we've done this is this is only this is initialized once on the first instance, I guess, of this entity Dothraki. It's initialized only once this item stack, and then for every single entity or for every single Dothraki that the game is going to put onto, I guess, the screen, it's going to pass in this item stack. It's not going to create a brand new one. So I hope that makes sense. We'll test this out now. Let me just save it. Click play. 
Fingers crossed. Yeah, and as scary as the Dothraki are, they are <laughs> wielding cookies. So yeah, that all looks like it works. I'm going to change this to something more relevant. I haven't integrated the Dothraki weapons yet, that kind of strange half-sword, half-skife. Um, I can't remember what the name of their weapon is. I know it begins with an A though. But for now, I'm just going to set it to a stone sword. Let me save and try this again quickly. And there we go. They're all wielding swords now. <laughs> so yeah guys, I hope this tutorial made sense. Basically, to summarise, using the static keyword allows us to create or define variables that belong to the class rather than the objects that that class is used to create. And um, it just makes sense in terms of resources. Why create an item stack for every single entity uh, when you can just create one and then use it over and over and over again. But yeah guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope it uh, made sense because I know a lot of people have struggled with my past two videos. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. If you enjoy this kind of stuff, feel free to come say hello on my channel. I put videos like this up probably two or three times a week. And also if you want to, uh, I don't know, lend a help in hand to getting this Game of Thrones inspired mod finished, send me a message on YouTube or Twitter or also I've had a couple of people donate uh, skins for the Dothraki and for other people I got a decent one for the Night's Watch. And uh, a lot of people have volunteered to be testers for when I'm getting closer to publicly releasing this. Uh, but yeah guys, rate, comment, subscribe, all the usual stuff, and I shall see you all next time.